So between my colleague Mark Petrie and I, we've currently got just around about 20 different clinical studies in heart failure running, from anything about novel drug treatments to gene therapy to device therapy studies. So it's quite an exciting time in heart failure. Uh, the outlook in somebody who had heart failure 20 years ago, 50% of people were dead at a year. That is hugely different now. The drug treatments that we have, the device treatments we have, and the future really is quite bright. Um, and it's um, lovely that the Golden Jubilee National Hospital does as much research as we do. There's, there's a passion for research here. Cardiac resynchronization therapy, affectionately known as CRT, is where the heart is not functioning properly. So we stimulate it with little pulses of electricity from a generator underneath the skin to stimulate the heart to contract in a more uniform matter, manner. In the Golden Jubilee, we've been planting cardiac resynchronization therapy devices for nearly 10 years. Th these are fantastic devices that can improve the life expectancy of patients, but importantly, make them feel better and make their cardiac function better as well. Now, some patients don't respond to such therapy. Roughly about 30% of people that get it do not feel better. And there's a new technology called multipoint pacing, where the heart can be stimulated from multiple points, not just the back and the front. And it is thought that this technology may improve response rate further, so people will feel better and hopefully will live longer in addition to, to standard therapy. It is one of the studies that we're running in the Golden Jubilee National Hospital. Uh, we have been recruiting patients for just over a year now, uh, and so patients who have not responded to standard therapy will have the potential to have this function switched on.